You know, before I ordered my Glowforge, uh, my biggest question was, what's the software like? Is it easy to use? Is it hard to figure out what settings to plug in? And unless you've just purchased a Glowforge, you can't get access to the software to play around with it. So in this video, I wanna give you a really quick overview of what the software is like and how to run your first print. Well, it turns out the software is not a downloadable program, but an online app. And that app is found at app.glowforge.com. All right, so here's our homepage. Any recent projects that you've cut will be shown up here. But when you log in for the first time, all you're gonna see are these catalog designs. And these designs are here for you to use to help you get acquainted uh, with your Glowforge. Uh, let's go ahead and print this keychain here. All right, now when you first bring your design into the app, it's gonna be grayed out like you see here. And that's because no settings have been applied to it yet. And I'll get to those settings in just a minute. First, let's go over some basic navigation. Uh, so to zoom, you can hold control and use your mouse wheel to zoom, or you can zoom up top here. Uh, to pan around, you can hold space bar to pan. Uh, again, you got the hand right up here. Uh, to select and move around your design, you can just uh, use the select tool. Each one of these grip points is to scale. Here's your rotation up top here. Uh, if you want to duplicate it, you can control C, control V to make a copy, just like in any other computer. You can also undo control Z, control Y, and you can also undo, redo up top here as well. Now let's get into some of the juicy stuff. You can see our artwork is broken up into steps. That's because some areas need to be engraved, some need to be scored, and others need to be cut. All right, let me go into one of these settings to show you how it looks. Let's go into this step here. We have four settings. We have engrave, cut, score, and ignore. Let's go into engrave. Uh, let's go into manual and I'll show you how each of these settings work. Uh, the first bar here is our speed. This is going to control how fast the laser head moves. Uh, a very low speed will cut with a slow, deep burn. Whereas a higher speed is going to cut with a fast, shallow score. All right, our second setting down here is our power. And this is gonna work the inverse of speed. A low power is going to cut with a very light score. And a high power is going to cut very deep. All right, the next setting is our lines per inch, or LPI. So this is kind of like your DPI, it's your resolution. So obviously a lower lines per inch is gonna give you a lower resolution image. Uh, the one up top there I think was done at 225, and the one I did just underneath of that, I think I did that one at 675. And you can see how it's darker and a little more clear, but obviously it's gonna take more time to add in that de extra detail. All right, next setting is number of passes. You can choose between one, two, or three. And this is just simply how many times it will cut or engrave that particular path or artwork. Maybe sometimes you don't want one deep cut and you'd rather do three lighter cuts instead so you don't get as much charring. This is how you would um, choose those options here. All right, and last setting I'll cover is focus height. Um, so if you want, you can type in the thickness of your material. So this sheet that I have in right now is an eighth inch thick. So I can just type in eighth inch thick for my material height. Or what you can do, which I recommend, is you can just type in zero and just leave it on auto. It does a really great job 
at autofocusing and determining what the thickness of your material is just on its own. So now we're back to our artwork here and we want to cut this out. So the question is, how do I know what settings to use? Well, the beauty of the proof grade materials is that there's literally no guesswork on your part. So oftentimes when you place a material in your Glowforge, it'll read this QR code and up here, it'll populate what material you're using. Um, oftentimes it doesn't, but you can go in here and choose that material. So I have medium draft board. You can type for it here. Um, all right, so I'll select our material, but I want you to see what happens to our settings here on the left when I choose that material. Right now, it just says enter settings. It doesn't know what settings to use. So as soon as I select this, bam. So all these are now populated with the exact setting that it needs to cut this out perfectly. Um, you can go into each one and change a few things, like right now the engrave is set to a standard graphic. You can change it to an HD graphic or just draft, but um, it's gonna do a great job. So that's the beauty of the proof grade materials is if you're using their material, it puts in those settings Exactly. It knows exactly what to use for a cut, what to use for a score, and what to use for engrave. Uh, you can see up here the speed 183 at full power is going to cut this thing uh, perfectly. Uh, so that's awesome. And if you're using your own material, you kind of got to play around a little bit. If I'm using a different material that's the same thickness, I'll go off here kind of as my baseline and then kind of explore and tweak around from there. So. Um, at this point, if we wanted to add another piece of artwork, we can come up here and choose Upload to upload another design, or we can trace our bed image. Um, but for now, let's just cut this guy out. All right, so all I would do now is just come over to here and hit Print, and then we'd walk over to our Glowforge, hit that big blue button, and we'd be good to go. But let me cover these tabs uh, real quick here at the end. So Home will just take us back to our home page that we started from. Uh, catalog is where you can find some of these designs um, and these are for purchase. Glowforge will give you, I think they'll give you like a $20 credit so you can buy a few things. Uh, I bought a couple things and printed some things out like uh, this guy I got. So if you want to shop from their catalog and print things out that way, that's what that is. Uh, shop is where you're going to find all your materials. I actually just placed an order for a bunch of materials yesterday. Um, they don't really have hundreds of materials, but they do have quite a bit, and they keep adding to it. Um, so we got veneers, acrylics, draft boards, so that's where you would come for that. Um, community, uh, this is a great tab. Super awesome, super uh, informative and helpful if you have any questions. Um, this is the, the place to ask those questions, um, search around. Your question's probably been answered by someone else so you can search around and find it tips and tricks announcements see what other people have made so that's a really awesome resource and then support support is where you can find a lot of maintenance troubleshooting and how-to guides for your glowforge now i left out a lot of information because i wanted to keep this video short for prospective buyers who just wanted a quick look at how this thing works um, I will be doing another video in the near future going over um, in more detail how a lot of these things work, how to cut with non-proof grade materials, things like that, so you can uh, stay tuned for that one. Um, one last thing as a side note, um, if you're going to buy a machine soon, please don't pay full price for it like I did. Um, when I ordered my Plus, I paid four grand. I didn't realize there were referral codes out there you can use to get a discount. I could have saved about 250 bucks. So if you don't have a referral code, um, I'll put one in the link in the description and you can use that link when you buy and you'll get um, a couple hundred dollars off your order. So it's free money. Um, so again, I hope this video was helpful for you and um, more to come.